Hello and welcome. This is the second episode of the MUI series. I am glad that we both made it to the second video. In this part, we will add a navigation panel along with routing system, which will be linked to our components. And right before we finish, we will add a very basic grid system. To start off, we need to install two dependencies, React Router DOM and MUI icons, as the icons are not included in the MUI core package. You can either look them up online or I will share the links just underneath the video. The React Router package isn't correct. You should be getting React Router DOM version of it. The link is shared just below the video. To install the packages, just npm install them in your terminal. In the meantime, we are going to change folder structure a bit. Let's start by adding components folder. Inside of it, add another folder named navbar and inside of it, add navbar.js file. Once you've got a navbar.js open, um, then type in rafce to mock functional component with a shortcut. I'm just going to add a little description to see if I can uh, render the component inside of the app.js. Then I'm going to import the navbar component inside of the app.js um, and then render it inside of that component. As you can see, the navbar component is getting rendered correctly. Now we are going to add drawer um, to our navbar from the MUI components. Now you can head over to your browser and type in MUI.com forward slash components forward slash drawers. And from here, we're going to import a uh, simple um, drawer component and customize it for our needs. So I am just going to rip out some of the code from inside of the full height drawer and paste it to my navbar.js file. If you click on the chevrons just below the UI example, the code sandbox will appear. And from there, you can just copy the drawer part for now. Once your code is um, copied, then just paste it to your navbar.js. And from here, we can start customizing it. Oh, one more thing. Just go back to your browser and copy all the imports from the top of the code sandbox. And if you don't do that, your code just won't work. Paste all the imports at the top of your file and then delete the ones that are not used. Okay, as you can see, uh, the drawer width is not defined. So I'm just gonna go back to the code and add a const drawer width um, equals to 220 and save it for now. We're gonna customize it later. All right, this is working and the navbar appeared with all the icons and labels. We can start customizing it so it looks more like the dashboard that we uh, want to build. Okay, just going to add another folder inside of the navbar folder. This is where we are going to keep our const file from where we can map and render it straight to our drawer. So we can set labels, icons and routes for each of these items. I'm just going to add a file, but I'm not sure of the name. I uh, might just give it a navbar list items um, .js. Once in there, we're going to um, add a export const file, uh, which is going to be an array with objects. Okay, I think I'm just going to keep it simple for now. Um, I'm just going to call it the uh, main navbar items, as we might want to add a set of sub navbar items in the future. So let me just create an array with a sample object from where I can duplicate that um, and create another five or six items. I'm going to set an ID, icon, label and root, and which will be needed for our routing purposes. And I'm going to talk you through that later in this video. Just gonna copy and paste whatever we have in our um, uh, template example so it reflects the actual um, UI from there. I fast forwarded a video slightly and updated the const file. I'm going to leave a link to my repo so you can just clone it from there. Now I'm going to map through navbar items const. So the data will get rendered inside of the um, drawer component and we can display a labels, icons and on click uh, method to our route. Uh, let's just clean up the parts that we don't need for now. And if needed, we can customize it later. Okay, this looks slightly better now. Um, we're gonna get rid of the array of strings and replace it with our const file. Now let's get rid of the top part. 
instead of it just typing the name of your const uh, once added your const file should get uh, imported automatically for you and then we can start um, the mapping process inside of list item text add text dot label so you're gonna get um, all the labels rendered in there um, key needs to be updated to text.id and we're going to get rid of the part inside of the list um, item icon which is going to replace it with the text.icon okay once saved you'll quickly notice that um, labels are present but we're missing our icons um, that's because we haven't added them um, but we're going to fix it straight away so just um, head over to the MUI website so to see the list of the icons, you would need to go back to the muy.com forward slash components forward slash material hyphen icons. And that's where all the icons can be found. So I know the name of the first icon that I want to add um, for the authentication label. Um, so this is going to be people one. I'm just going to um, copy and paste the import inside of my um, const file and basically call it there as well. Put that import at the top of your const file, then copy the icon and paste it as a value of your icon key. Once this is done, you'll quickly find that um, your icon has been rendered correctly in the dashboard. What we have to do now is to find all the icons and paste it in the const file. I will just fast forward a video just to skip that part. You can either clone this repo or you can copy and paste the icons by yourself. Either way, I will leave all the links in the description. As you can see, all the icons are now rendered in the navbar. We're only missing styles and on-click handlers to update our URL. Um, let's start off with the styles. So I'm just going to inspect the example dashboard that we want to build and then copy the background color. In your code, you will notice the SX prop, which is responsible for overriding styles. And I'm just going to paste the background color and the value of that background color in there. Once saved, you will find that the background color of your navbar has been changed. Uh, but we need to update the color of your icons and the text. This is only the brief intro to styling. In the series, we will create a unique theme for our application. So all the styles will get applied globally. I will also talk about conditional style rendering, as well as I will mention different style overriding methods. Just pasted the text color in the MUI drawer paper class, which will apply it to the font only. I'd have to do the same for the icons. So I'm adding the SX props to it and passing a color object. Remember, you can find all the props for all components on MUI website. You just need to find the component that you want to customize and then go at the bottom of that page and just open up one of the links within the API section. I have fast forwarded the video and updated the styles slightly and now they can import from styles.js file so our main component looks cleaner now. This is a small change and it's not impacting the tutorial but we will look into the styles in a separate video. Now with our router installed we would like to display different components on different URLs with the navbar to stay in the same place. Go to the react router website, copy the highlighted piece of code and paste it to your index.js file. Link to this website can be found just below the video. This is where we're going to specify our routes. I'm just going to clean up the code, get rid of one line and replace the path so it reflects our application. As you can see, our pirate route is the app component with a default path. Inside of the app component, we have a navbar, which has to be in there so it's displayed on every route. And as a children, we are going to add each one of the menu items. But for now, let's just head back to the navbar and add an on-click handlers so each item can trigger an action. All we have to do is add an on-click listener to a list item, but before we're going to do that, we have to specify the routes in our const file. So each route's value will represent the URL in the browser. So I will just copy and paste each one of the items. Usually I would have another URL const file with all the URLs specified there, but as this tutorial is mainly about MUI, I will just keep it simple and do a quick copy and paste thing. We have our URL specified. Now we need a router method to update the URLs. As we're using the latest version of React Router, there is a use navigation hook. Just copy that import and paste it to your navbar component. 
now we need to add a const so I type const navigate equals to use navigate and braces and then we're going to add an on click listener to list item and we're going to add a arrow function which is going to call the navigate text dot root by the way it's pretty bad to call it a text um, I had it from the beginning but let's just fix it and call it an item now go back to your browser and click on the list item you can see the URL changes on click but it does not display anything it's because we haven't set the component for that specific route in the meantime, in your source folder, you can add another folder called pages and we are going to add our components. With that being said, I'll add authentication, database, storage and so on. All of them are empty for now and we can add a short description just to see if they are actually being rendered. And I'll also add a margin to make sure they're not being overlapped by the navbar. You should end up with a structure looking just like that. Now it's time to specify our routes. We are going to uncomment the line of code and specify our path and element that it should render. I was not sure if you noticed, but I've already imported authentication. And once I refresh my project, I should end up with a persistent navbar and a different component being rendered for a different URL. As the other components are not specified, I will just duplicate my code. This can be done using const and map method but I'm feeling a bit lazy and I will just repeat myself only for this occasion. Okay, all the routes are set now. We can just have a quick look to make sure it's all working. And as you can see, every single list item displays different components. Now, we don't want to worry about no margins and setting weird styles. Let's just set up a simple grid, which will cover a navbar and each one of the pages components. Now, in order to get it done, you would need to go to mui.com forward slash components forward slash grid. And we would need to copy a grid import and that grid import can be pasted into each one of the pages components. For now, we are going to use a similar setup with container as a wrapper element and a grid item access equals to four on the navbar and access equals to eight on the rest of the components. The maximum value we can set here is 12, which means it will occupy the whole viewport width regardless of its size. So let's add a wrapper grid to the app. Um, once it's set, the authentication page should appear. Remember to add a um, container boolean set to true and as you can see it's all working now and you can do the same thing to the rest of the pages elements i'm just going to carry on with adding grid items but this is the end of that video we made a very simple version of a navbar component we've added some styles to it the routing system is set and working and in the next video we will mainly focus on the mui styles thank you for watching and have a good one